hello guys welcome back again to my youtube channel my name is vicky and i make videos from lagos nigeria so if you're seeing my face for the very first time or you're coming across moments with vicky like you're coming across this channel for the very first time hello there thank you so much for clicking on this video to watch i super appreciate it thank you thank you thank you thank you please consider to hit on the red subscribe button and subscribe to my youtube channel and do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that youtube will inform you whenever i post a new video and if you're my returning subscriber hello you are most definitely welcome thank you so much for coming back to watch my videos i truly appreciate each and every one of you for your likes for your comments you guys are the real mvp so guys in today's video i just want to be gisting you guys like i just want to be stating some of my selfish reasons why i actually chose my husband over other people or act how i actually knew that okay this is the person i want to actually settle down with yes i call this reason reasons selfish because they are my personal reasons like I wasn't considering any other person in the picture I just felt like this has to be it for me that this is what I actually want that is why I actually chose my husband so apart from maybe his family apart from let, let me say friends his family his siblings or every other thing I'm talking about the personal reasons what he possessed, the quality he possessed because those are the qualities I actually will be living with for the rest of my life so like I said, I was selfish while I'm making that choice because I really do not have strength to start Robo and on top of somebody's head doing midnight prayer and praying all alone. So I mean to pray on how we will succeed. I'll start praying for somebody to change one bad attitude. I'll start praying for somebody to have one attitude or one habit or one 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 quality that I should have ticked where while we were dating. So a lot of us actually date or marry people based on different reasons some married people because they are wealthy some married people because they are tall they are handsome they are huge they are broad chested they are dark in complexion they are fair in complexion so or the, any quality that were your reasons for choosing who you choose it is your choice and they are all personal reasons this ones are my personal qualities in a man that made me know that wow this guy has to be my husband <laughs> so guys if you actually want to know my selfish reasons or if you actually want to know why i chose my husband over the others please keep on watching this video so guys i'm not saying that those people that chose their men for that particular reason they chose their men for whether for money or for looks I've done a, a, the wrong thing you understand those were their reasons so me i'm going to be stating mine and these are my personal reasons and it has actually worked out for me to my favor you understand so i did not regret being selfish in the first place do you understand me <laughs> so the number one reason why i actually chose my husband over others or how why i actually knew that this guy was the one for me was one my husband loved me unconditionally and he loved me more than i loved him like here, yeah, I was selfish in that aspect because one, as a woman who wants to get married or as a woman, it is very, very necessary for you to marry who a man who loves you more than you love him. I will explain that. A lot of things go against women in our society these days. Do you understand? A man cheats, the woman will get angry and go. A woman cheats, the man will go. So anything that happens, the whole odds are against women so when you want to choose you have to be selfish in this aspect you understand because I cannot be breaking my head and somebody is going out and having fun outside and I'll be inside waiting for the person or praying for the person to come back so when a guy loves you unconditionally or when a guy loves you so much deeply there are limits to what he can do he will have he will know what to do and what not to do do you understand when he loves you deeply there are things he will not do that is because of the love he has for you so i had to make that choice i had to make that that thing as in that choice at that point in time just so i wouldn't start crying and shedding tears for what i would have been i would have been able to control like i said earlier you understand so when choosing a spouse i think as a woman you have to or you need to choose someone who loves you more than you love the person and then the second reason why i actually chose my husband these are his personal traits like i said no external forces around maybe i'll be doing another video of the external reasons that surrounded him that made me choose him do you understand so these are his personal traits you understand the number two reason like i said is my husband is god fearing like it is very paramount it is very important for a lady to get married to a god fearing man see him 
when a man is god fearing there are things he will do you understand when a man is is, is jesus like like because somebody will say we'll take example from christ the bible said that a man should love their wife just as christ loves the church and will be able to give his life for it can your husband give <laughs> give up his life for you well not literally but can your husband sacrifice certain things just because of you that's the kind of thing you ask yourself or the person you are dating or about to marry can you do that because when a man is god fearing a lot of things has to be put in place you understand he will not go out and club and forget about you at home he will not go back go out to drink get drunk he would not womanize he would there are a lot of things you mention them because you know them you know what a god fearing man should and should not do so i saw this quality in my husband and i knew i felt and i knew he was very god fearing so and i'm like this is the man for me you understand so the number three reasons why i chose my husband was because of loyalty my husband is so loyal to me like to a fault yeah you heard me read my lips my husband is loyal to a fault you understand i like the way he's so loyal like you know when loyal in the word loyal i can't emphasize that you understand so i saw his loyalty how loyal he was to me and then i just was like okay i think this is the person for me i tick the box you understand so the next reason why i actually chose my husband was selflessness like a lot of people out there are so selfish a lot of men are so selfish all they think about is themselves 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 ah uh, i have to do this i have to do that nobody you're not even putting your girlfriend in the picture your fiance in the picture i'm saying girlfriend and fiance because i was once a girlfriend and a fiance you understand so you're not even putting her in the picture all you're thinking about is your selfish desires your selfish ends your selfish needs you think about yourself alone my husband always puts me at the center of everything he thought about what i would think before he does anything he does things so selflessly that even in our marriage i still wonder that how can somebody be this selfless you understand the word i don't even know how to explain it for you guys to understand but these were one of the reasons that i actually saw how selfless that he can be and then i chose him and I, I'm, I'm like that's my guy you understand that kind of thing you understand so the number th the, the, the next like i've lost count i don't even know which number i am right now next reason why i actually chose my husband was trust a lot of men has low self-esteem to a fault you understand they actually do not trust the people they are dating with and you know a relationship where there is no trust i don't see how that relationship will be happy i don't see how that relationship will be smooth you understand every step you take your guy is suspecting you every step you of, of the way you, you are being suspected my guy then my husband now actually trust me to a fault i saw the way he trusted me and i've always had the fear of not betraying that trust you understand because of how much he trusted me i actually decided to be even a better person do you understand i i have as in he trusts me to a, to, to a point that i'm i'm wondering vicky can, can you be trusted like this do you understand that's one thing i actually love about him because i cannot be going around with the headache of if i stand with somebody to talk you're already suspicious if i call somebody on the, on the phone you're already suspicious if i chat with somebody you're already suspicious low self-esteem worrying you up and down i cannot be dealing with that do you understand so because of how much he trusted in me even me as a person i have actually truly decided and made a, a vow to myself that i can't even break that trust for anything in the world because it is very paramount in a relationship for there to for, for for trust to be there and that was what i actually saw the the, the trust was top notch like i've never seen somebody trust me that much then the next reason why i chose my husband was leadership you understand my husband is a leader like you know this saying that says that before you you lead you must follow you understand my husband is that kind of a person you understand even when we were dating he feels if he needs you to sweep the ground he sweeps the ground for you to know that he should sweep the ground my husband is a leader and not a ruler there are a lot of people a lot of men are rulers in their relationship are rulers in their in their marriages you understand my husband is a leader like he was a leader in the relationship so these were the things i saw and i'm like wow this guy is so like like i do seriously as i'm even making this video i can't even explain how much of a leader in things in the affairs like i truly would even wish my daughter to marry someone like my husband you understand because of how nice of a person 
he is you understand so this is something that is your husband a role model to your children he is like a role model to our children because of his leadership quality like he leads in the home effortlessly and that doesn't mean that because you're the head of the home you're trying to prove yourself you're trying to be like i'm the head so i should not be anything less you understand my husband is person that since you're the head you lead by example that's what he does you understand and that was one of the reasons that i saw that actually made me feel like that guy is mine the next reason why i actually chose my husband the next selfish reason like this one i was so selfish about it was because my husband is a very peaceful person he was a very peaceful person while we were dating we never had a fight that broke till the next day like a quarrel a misunderstanding in fact we've never had a misunderstanding that i can just remember that ah there was this misunderstanding we have if we have anything misunderstanding it's some minor thing that I'm always a drama queen, you understand that? Maybe I'm angry about or I want to act drama about, you understand? But we've not had a major, a major a, 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 a misunderstanding that I can really pinpoint that, you understand? And I love how peaceful he used to be. Even when we have things, issues like that, you see how he wants to bring back peace into the relationship. We don't sleep over a quarrel in the relationship. I'm not talking about a marriage because even in marriage is even better now, you understand? We don't, he, in marriage now, he can't even stay to, to, three hours without us making peace over an issue you understand but when we were dating he was he loved the peace so much that he we don't sleep over it like you you don't sleep without um settling whatever was making me angry because i was always the angry bird like seriously <laughs> because i'm a drama queen like that excuse me hello <laughs> so the next thing that actually made me choose my husband over the other support like my husband was is a very supportive person like my husband supports my dream he supports any of my hustle even though he knows that that hustle might not pay or that thing I'm going to do isn't what it you understand if he talks to me peacefully about it that ah, he doesn't feel that this thing is going to be worth it do you understand this was in relationship and then I'm still uh, strong-headed about it he supports me like yeah he supports me like go ahead do it let's see how it goes and even at that he's there he's cheering me he's been like go girl you can do it you understand until i see the end <laughs> you understand so that's just it he's very supportive to every of my dream and aspiration and that's one beautiful 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 thing i actually love about him and made me made me say that this guy you will be mine the next one is respect you understand my husband respects me to a fault he respects my opinion he respects my choice he respects me like he respects me in total because some people a lot of people deal with disrespect from their husband because disrespect doesn't have to be somebody abusing you you understand there are a lot of ways one can disrespect you and i saw that this guy respects everything about me like he gives me my maximum like that respect was there we could not we can't we can't trade it for anything you understand so i just felt like uh, for him to give me this kind of a respect and he's still respectful up till now hello so you just know you understand i just felt that okay this guy is the one for me and then the last reason why i actually chose this guy <laughs> last selfish reason why i actually chose this guy was because he is very understanding like my husband is so understanding that i'm sometimes i'm asking myself jesus where where is where 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 <laughs> where is this guy coming from you understand so he understands everything about me he, in fact at this point if i can even say that i think he understands me more than i understand myself because sometimes i'm confused of myself you understand before i make any movie i already understand where i'm going to so this is one of the things that i saw how much he understands my person how much he understands if i talk, talk to him how much he understands he understands my attitude my character he understands my body he understands everything he was the most understanding of everybody i came across you understand so that's just the reason why i actually chose my husband over the other people that i saw i know most of you must know the reasons why you choose your husband please leave it in the comment section let's continue this video might have a part two but let us see how it goes so i'd like to hear your thoughts what you feel one should tick the boxes one should tick before getting married because marriage is a lifetime journey and forever is too long to endure and cry about so before you make that decision before you make that choice you have to be very sure you have to tick 
the boxes you have kept just so you have your peace and sanity i'd love to hear your thoughts on this particular topic please leave it in the comment section and give this video a huge thumbs up share this video with your friends your family on your instagram on your youtube community i have youtubers watching me share the video you understand <laughs> share this video with your loved ones please support my channel by hitting on the red subscribe button and subscribing to my channel and do not forget both the old and the new subscribers please turn on your notification bell so that you will always be informed whenever i post a new video thank you so very much guys for watching and i will see you guys in my next one bye guys